Hallelujah. I just want to explain just a little bit concerning judgment that is coming on the fallen angels. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 3. Do you not know that we will judge angels? How much more of the things of this life? 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment. Jude chapter 1 verse 6. And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority, but abandoned their proper dwelling place, these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. Let me just explain this to you, blessed viewer, just a little bit that we may understand this particular scripture. When we talk about the angels, remember the angels were the first to be created. The Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And also, I think it is in the book of Job that simply speaks of how the angels, the stars, were rejoicing as God was creating these other uh, things here on the earth. The creation of the angels is not given specifically in scripture. God just says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And when we read the book of Revelation, Jesus Job, the angels, when the heavens were being created, they were created together with the heavens. Hallelujah. And the heavens, of course, we have the three heavens. And the highest, the third heavens is where now God resides. And around God, there are these servants who are serving God day and night, the angels of the Lord. And let me just describe this, how the angels are created. As we see across scripture, they're created in perfection. They're created in beauty. They're created in power. They surround God. You can imagine them. Like, for example, when you see at them in the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 downwards and also Ezekiel chapter 1 and also Revelation chapter, I think it's chapter 4 or chapter 5 there that talks about the ministry of the angels around the throne of God and as they are being created to perform certain mandates, they are given power, they are given authority by God himself. And when we look at them and their description, for example, the four living creatures, for example, the seraphim, for example, the cherubim in Genesis, I think it's chapter 2 or chapter 3, the cherubim of glory, they are given so much power by the Lord himself. And so when we look at these particular scriptures of First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 3, Second Peter chapter 2 verse 4, Jude chapter 1 verse 6, I want us to recognize and understand this thing. The angels worship God day and night. Hallelujah. The angels, they are around the throne of God. The angels, they perform some of the duties given to them by God. They are of higher in rank than us as human beings in terms of perfection, in terms of power, in terms of authority, the angels of God. In fact, somebody can say that the duties that we perform as human beings in terms of worshipping our God, in terms of praising our God, the angels perform it in a more powerful way. Hallelujah. But yet, God chose to love us and give us and create us in his own image and was able to make us in his own likeness but still these three scriptures says that these same angels if they fall to sin god will strike them these same angels who were created before us these same angels who are able to offer the most powerful worship before God. These same angels who are able to be created in perfection, in power. These angels who are able to behold the throne of God. He says that if God does, did not spare them when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment, he says that these same angels, when they fall to sin, He'll strike them. What of us, mere mortals, if we do not accept the salvation of Jesus Christ? What of us, mere human beings, 
if we fall to sin and do not repent, if God is able to strike and judge angels even of higher classes when they fall to sin, able to strike them, look at Satan. Hallelujah. Look at Satan, adorned with beauty, power, wisdom. But the moment he fell to sin, he striked him. And actually, you realize in the book of Revelation that actually the final fulfillment of that judgment will take place when the Messiah will just pick him. When God himself will just pick him and throw him into hell. What more of you if you do not accept the salvation of Jesus? If God judges the angels, what more of you if you do not heed to the immediacy and the urgency of receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What more of you, brother? What more of you, sister? Receive the gospel of Jesus right now and repent that you may be saved in this life and that your eternity may be secured in the life to come. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Shalom, shalom.